So here we have the witness, that is the 13th lock. This is where all the information through the evolutionary history gets stored in a sense, this movement through the 13 and the various keys to the 13, this witnessing. Here we have the witness. And so in 1961, we went into the 61.1, and this is the theme of occult knowledge. This is the time in which the planet is allowed to receive true inner truth, the inner truth at the foundational occult knowledge level. So we are in currently the 61.1 and 13.1 lock. So we have the empathic capacity to grasp the deepest inner truth right now. And this is where the door is closing to this truth. We have had quite an age, Ra says, the very patterns of society. That is this ability to hold society together by building civilizations. And obviously we are at the heart of the quarter of civilization. And so to see that this is a lock that has a key, the 16th gate, that is a part of the channel of talent. But more than that, it's the great gate of identification, enthusiasm, skills. So it's identifying the future. What are the possibilities logically of what the future can provide? And the union of these two logical aspects, how powerful that is and how much have we benefited from it? So I want you to think about all of these um, fantastical delusions that humanity has been fed, spoon fed since, what was that date, 1960s? where think of the Jetsons if you were growing up and you know down a long time ago where we had people in flying cars you know people living underwater potentially you know people living in space delusion think about that is it going to be coming to the fore Ross said he would eat his words if people actually lived on Mars because it's never going to happen according to him now when you go to the other side and you go to the 10, what you're going to find this lock and key combination is that the nature is all about behavior. So we are programmed, we are literally programmed as to how each of us are designed to behave. And when we look at this behavior right now, we see all of this detail. So we have now the ninth gate. And that night gate brings an incredible focus, the taming power of the small. It brings this sensibility right now, first line. That focus that feeds the logical, factual, step-by-step -step process. So whether you have a nine in your design or whether you are open to it, this is the nature of our era. It's focusing on the small details. When I was a kid, my... Um, I wanted to say dad, but my, my, the guy who delivered me, okay, he was a general practitioner, general MD. And I can remember going to his, you know, office and we would see him for everything. I don't care what I had going on. It was always, you know, general practitioner. You go to see him for everything. That is not the case anymore. My general practitioner delivered me when I was growing up in Hawaii, you know, Nowadays, you've got all of these specificities, all of these skills, remember the skills that have been developed in detail. And it's just been expanding and expanding and expanding. Now you've got a specialist for all kinds of diseases under the sun. Now diseases have expanded too because the immune system of humanity has been dying out. So we've had to. And yet that very thing, our human species on the decline that has created all of these specialties of focus and specifics in skillful um, 
identification with disease. We, we celebrate ourselves like, wow, look at the progress. And yet it's the point of our very decline that has brought all of this up. So this is an incredible process and expansion of inner truth. And yet it's just preparing us for the shifting as we human beings are on the decline. So here's the example of our age. You can see this is the creative force that drives this particular cycle. 32, duration, the gate of continuity in the first line of conservation very conservative. So we're living in the most deeply material time. Where is this? This is in the stream of capitalism, isn't it? Fear of failure, material failure. And we're talking about money materialism right now. Have you seen it? How much materialism abounds? So in this time, we are rooted in the hierarchical drive for more right? Where it's going towards is the heart, the ego, more, 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 and also better. What is it leading to? We want to be better. We want to improve. We want to be the best. Here's the driving force of that, that duration, continuity, and yet everything we know changes. So these are the huge themes that mold and shape all of humanity right now. It's not the nuance of what you're taking in in your design while you're living day by day, okay? So it's not the nuance of what you take in in your design while you're living through the day, through the program, through the moment, through the people in your life. This is something more, this is something else, this is something vast and deep that keeps all of us in lockstep with the program. So you look at your human design, look down at it, you see, oh, I have openness to that. Guess what? That is part of what you are amplifying and potentially distorting, not just from the people around you, not just from the day-to-day -day transits or your life cycles. This, this is the controlling, homogenizing force. And none of us can escape it. All we can do is take advantage of it or not through our decision-making process. So, Right now we're in the cycle of this world is a business. That's where all the creative energy is going. Make a million, make a billion, make a million, feed a million, make a billion, feed a billion, make a hundred thousand dollars a month. It's possible. Here it is. I've done it. You can too. Just buy my course, you know? on and on and on. We have people creating businesses out of their lives, feeling like you can't go after what you want to do because you've got to make a business in order to survive, in order to thrive. Anything that you do, if it's not um, moving the needle towards your achievement, your accomplishment, your grasping, yeah, grasping more of the material share of the pie. This is what is happening to us right here and now.